welcome in this video i am going to explain write an alp2 exchange it is assembly language program in 8051 to exchange the source block starting with address 10h which is internal memory location containing n bytes of data n is here 6 so the block size is 6 with a destination block starting at the location external memory so external memory i think they missed two more address here so that is you can consider as 2000h okay or 1000h or 2000 or 3000 okay let me check uh, 00 also in the external memory let us try that later okay so now uh here source is actually internal memory so you can use any register to hold the address of internal memory r0 to r7 but destination it is a 16-bit memory you have to use dptr only so let me open the tool open keel microvision you can refer my previous video to how to install the keel software and use project creation and all so this is the code so for writing a comment you have to write semicolon so write an ALP to extend the source code. So you can write the program title here. So if you want to continue second line also, second line also you can start with a semicolon so that the first two line becomes now uh, comments. Okay, if this is optional. If, if you don't want to write the uh, title and all, just uh, uh, no need to write, type the first two lines. The program starts with uh, ORG, originate the uh, 00H, move or not with 10. What is the movie meaning of this? So load or not with uh, source location address okay and uh, destination is actually 16 bit external memory so you have to use dptr only so load dptr register to hold destination 16 bit address Okay. Next, R2. Let us use R2 to store the block size. Okay. Load R2 with okay block size. So back is a label. Label should be ended with semicolon here. Colon here. Who is? Whenever you transfer any data related to the external memory, you have to use additional letter x this x stands for external memory is involved so load accumulator with okay move x a from this is location so load accumulator register okay load accumulator the content of address specified by address present in which is actually the whatever address present in uh, dptr okay that address content will be copied to a so a is actually accumulator 8 bit from that address 8 bit data will be copied to the accumulator a see a is now having uh our external memory we are doing exchange of data we have to exchange the content from internal memory with external memory so we have taken the external memory content to accumulator through move x but uh, r0 is actually internal memory so no need to write x here so don't write x for b also because uh, r0 is loaded with internal memory so don't write x here so load uh, register b okay load b with register b with uh, internal memory content internal memory content internal memory is now actually uh, 10h 10h content will be copied to b 2000h content will be copied to a after that we are using exchange because the program is to exchange so we can directly use exchange a comma b so a value will be exchanged with b content exchange Okay, exchange A and B content. Exchange 
accumulator a means accumulator and register b content both will get exchanged after that b content is coming to a so from a we have to move it to dpt or external memory see from r not internal memory content coming to b after exchanging it's coming to a from a again you have to move it to dptr so again it is related to uh, external memory content so from accumulator from accumulator okay, from accumulator okay, uh, move to move the content to dptr address in the dptr address we have 2000 location so r not content is now actually transferred to 2000 location 10th content is transferred to 2000 location now 2000 location is now in b so that should be transferred to r not address so that is uh, uh, after exchange a content and b content are exchanged so from register b okay uh, move content to A source location or uh, R not address. R not address is internal memory. Okay, here DPT address is external. So we exchanged the first data of both uh, internal and uh, destinational internal external memory contents now you have to increment both the uh, contents so increment increment or not by one so uh, internal memory is incremented by one and similarly destination sorry not destination uh, external memory content is also incremented by one external memory location incremented by one this is internal memory location address incremented by because r naught is and r dpt are actually containing address so both locations are incremented by one now DJNZ, DJNZ stands for decrement, whatever register, what register is given, decrement R2 register, register R2 content, if not zero, jump to label, back. Now we will show how to do the program. So remove any old program. So if any program is running, you have to stop the debug. After that, you can right click and remove the program, old program. I want to. So it will just remove from the project. It will be there in your folder. So add new item to the source group. Add C file. So I am doing exchange now. Exchange. So to paste the program, build a target, check the errors, keep showing zero errors and zero warnings. Now start debug. This is a debug button. Start debug. So before execution, you have to open two memory windows. Memory window one. Open memory window 1 and memory window 2. So, four memory windows you can open memory window 1, memory window 2. So, in the memory window 1, okay, you can have internal memory. So, for internal memory, capital D colon 0x10. 
capital D is data segment. So, 0x, 10 is internal memory. External memory, it is external. X, you have to use capital X, colon, 0x, 2000. Or you can use 0, 0 also. In the question actually given 0, 0, H, you can use 0 also, I think. Let me check. You can use 0 also, no problem. Okay, here I write the program for 2000. For uh, if you want to do it 0 only, you change here DPTR with 0, 0 only. Okay. So this is destination address. So both are loaded with some data. So I am giving uh, mm, here modify location at 0x10 and giving 1 2 3 4 5 1h 2 3 4 5 so r are actually decimal in hexadecimal also same value so no need to type h here so in the internal memory we have 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 in the address 0x 10h in the destination sorry in the external memory 2000 i am giving data as Modify the content at um, as here. Mm, I'll type one one h comma two two h comma three three h comma four four h comma five five h. In the internal one two three four five. In the external one one two two three three four four five five. After the execution, this content should get exchanged. So let me execute step by step. So you have to open and there is an after project window where there is a register. So you can check the here. R0 is loaded with 10. Source location, uh, one location, internal location, memory, address. Uh, DPTR is loaded with external memory address, 2000. R2 is loaded with 6. It is a block size. So now we are transferring the content of external memory to A. So it is involved in the external memory. So move X transfer the content to accumulator. So accumulator is loaded with uh, external memory content 11. Okay. Next uh, move B with another register B is loaded with content of address specified by R0. R0 is loaded with 10. So 10 content. Uh, is one one is loaded to the b so you observe b is zero zero here after this it becomes one now observe carefully exchange a and b these two contents a and b registers content will get exchange one came here 11 came here after that after the exchange transfer a once again to dptr so in the dptr external memory it is copied with zero one now and similarly, R0 is loaded with B content, so it is loaded with 11. Again, increment R0, observe here 11, DPTR it becomes 2001, decrement R2, from 6 it becomes 5. If it is not equal to 0, it will go to the back. So, similarly, execute this. Observe here both memories, okay, they will get exchange. Now, actually, 22 will come here and Two will come here. See, two came here in the 2001 location, and similarly, 22 came here. So, similarly, it will repeat six times. So, six data are not entered. Sorry, so it will if you don't enter anything, it will consider as zero only because the block size is six. No, I forgot to enter six data. If you don't enter, the last data 600 zero, zero, will be exchanged with 00, zero only. So you have to give 6 data when you are doing. 6 data also you have to give. So after that you can see now 5th data is transferred. Last 00, zero is also exchanged. So you can observe in the destination now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0. And in the internal memory, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 0, 0. Six datas are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0. Here, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 0, 0. 
So actually I entered five data in the beginning. You can enter six data also. If you don't enter by default zero will be there now that will only considered as data. Okay. Thank you.